I felt like the Tin Man wearing this. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca and if you're new here, I post videos all about lifestyle, fashion, luxury, beauty, anything in that category. So if that is the kind of content that you like to watch, then definitely hit the subscribe button so you can join my little growing family here on YouTube. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing another Abercrombie haul. I have done several of these on my channel. I'll go ahead and link them down below. Every few months, I do like to do hauls from Abercrombie since that is where I really like to get a lot of my clothes. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you try-on clips as well as letting you know my thoughts on these pieces. And wow, what a doozy we have ahead of us. <laughs> so without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so I am kind of at a loss for words for some of these pieces. Normally I have a really good experience with Abercrombie and I end up keeping a majority of the items that I pick up. However, I'm already gonna preface this by saying a lot of this is going to go back. So one of the items I am wearing is this like relaxed fit pocket tee. I am actually keeping this. I really, really like this. I do have similar tops in my wardrobe from Abercrombie already, so I knew I would like this one, and I just really like the moon and cactus detail, so I can happily say that this one was a win, and I'm going to go ahead and list on the screen what the pricing was and the exact name of the item, and I will have everything linked down below in case you want to check some of these items out for yourself. I did buy this very recently and filmed this and uploaded it all pretty recently, so you should be able to find a majority of the items still. Now let's talk about a piece that uh, I have no words for, <laughs> and it is this pink like satin tie front top. I felt like the Tin Man wearing this. As soon as I put this on and looked at myself in the mirror and in the camera, I felt like the Tin Man. <laughs> I don't even know a better way to describe it than this. This was the most unflattering thing I've ever seen on me. Now, I don't know if one, because it has some creases and wrinkles in it from being shipped, if that has something to do with it, if maybe the sizing was off. I did get it in a size small, which sizing wise, it felt right. I don't know if an extra small would have been better, but there's just something about this that I really didn't like. I honestly don't like that it's so reflective because it is like a satin material. Um, moving forward, I probably will never purchase anything in this type of material again, just because, again, I feel like in this color at least, it is very reflective against light, and I just felt like the Tin Man. That's really all I can say. This is definitely going back. <laughs> Next, we have this, like, keyhole front top. Again, you're gonna see it in the clips of me modeling it. This is another piece I pretty much absolutely hated. <laughs> it does tie in the back, it ties at the neck. It is very high necked, but the things I didn't like about it were one, it may be too small. I felt like it was pretty tight and I did get it in a small figuring that this was going to run tighter, but maybe a medium would have been better. Uh, the other thing is too, I felt like the keyhole did look a little awkward, like the little hole in the front. Again, you're going to see it in the modeling shots. Overall, this just felt really uncomfortable for me and I did not really like how it looked on me. I did not think it was very flattering for me personally, so this unfortunately is going back too. Let me move on to something I am keeping and that is this cozy hoodie. Now, I actually really like this and it does come all the way up to your neck like this, which a lot of times I don't prefer. However, because it's so cozy and not tight, I don't really notice it. I feel like this is just super comfortable, something I can lounge around in when I'm cold, which we keep our house very cold, so I can use this year round, especially because I get cold no matter what, usually, even living in a hot climate. But I really, really did like this, and it feels so soft and cozy, so I think this is definitely a keep. I, I really like this. So, win! Yay! <laughs> Next we have a piece that I'm really unsure of, and I will definitely go ahead and update you in the description box if I change my mind on anything, but this is this like maroon long sleeve legging tee, I believe is what they call it. It is very comfortable. I did get it in a size 
extra small, which I'm glad I did size down. I feel like a small would have been way too big for me. That is one thing that is kind of annoying about Abercrombie is if you don't really know your size in their pieces and in their different types of pieces, then it can be really hard to know. And because this was more of like a relaxed look on the model, I figured it was gonna run big. So I did size down. I'm usually either an extra small or a small through and through, depending on what the item is. Um, some of these, like I mentioned, the last top maybe would have been better in a medium, but even in a medium, I probably wouldn't have liked it. Anyway, onto this top. I do think this is very cozy, and I do like that it is longer, so you could definitely wear it with leggings. That is an accurate description. I'm just unsure. When I was looking at myself wearing it, I kind of felt like it didn't look that flattering on me, but of course, you know, we're all harder on ourselves than other people would be, so you guys will have to let me know in the comments uh, what you think. I think I might return it, just because, you know, I've kept pieces in the past that I'm like, oh, I don't know, you know, I, maybe I'll come around to it, and I never end up wearing them, and that's just a waste of money. So I'm, I'm leaning towards returning this, but I may keep it. So again, I will definitely leave an update in the description box so that you know what I decided. But it is very cozy and very soft, and the long sleeves are nice. So I think if you like this style of top, you will definitely like this one. Next, we have this like black mini dress. It has these sheer sleeves, which you'll see in the try-on clip. And it is like that, what do they call this, smocked or ruffled. It's like tighter up top and looser at the bottom. I really liked this. I did get it in a small petite, which I probably could have gotten away with a small regular, but I just, I really like this. I'm really happy with this. I think it looks super cute. It does have like a nice slimming effect to it, I feel, because it is tighter at the top, but then a little bit looser towards the bottom. I will say that it is, it's just long enough on me, but you, I could see this being too short for some people's tastes, or even if you are very tall, and you know, let's say you're, um, you're very tall, I could see this being too short for you. So just keep that in mind, you know, maybe this is the petite, so again, they do have regular, I think they have regular, long, and petite. I could be wrong about that, but they definitely have regular and petite. So just keep that in mind when you're picking your sizing. I, like I said, I really like this, and it's like a half sleeve, it's not a full sleeve, but I don't really like wearing dresses. Actually, I'm not even gonna say I don't really like. I despise wearing any kind of top that show that is like a tank top or even a halter top. I don't like it, I won't wear it. I've been like that my entire life. So whenever I can find a dress that actually has sleeves, I really like it because like I said, I, I don't wear dresses or anything without sleeves. So I like that this is a sleeve, but it is sheerer. So I don't know, it gives it a nice look to it. I really did like this and I'm definitely gonna be keeping it. Next we have a top that I'm, again, I don't even know what to think about it. So it's just this basic v-neck black top. I did get this in a small because I had figured it would run tighter based on how it looked on the model, but honestly, even this is a little bit, almost borderline too tight for me. I probably should have done a medium, but again, I usually am always an extra small or a small, so I really didn't think I was going to need anything bigger. I, I can fit this and it does fit. It does just feel a little bit more restricting. So I have a feeling I will end up returning this just because of the fit. Otherwise, it's really cute. It's not super cropped or anything, but it does pretty much come like right to my waist, which is nice because if I wanna wear it with like jeans and a belt, at least it won't cover the belt because it's not that long. But it's also not cropped because I don't like to wear cropped stuff. So I think this is a really great top lengthwise and I, I do like it and it does feel cozy. Um, it is like a stretchy material, but I think the sizing is just off. I may try it on again and see how I feel, but I think this is gonna go back because again, I don't wanna keep something that I can't enjoy currently. You know, like if I don't like how I feel in it now, that's not really going to change, so I need to just return it if that's the case. So again, check for an update in the description box. Next we have an item that I did not try on on film, but I will let you know, and it is these, hold on. It's this like tie front swim bottom, so it has this little tie. It is high-waisted. 
I only picked up a swim bottom because I have a black swim top already and I feel like with black you can pair any kind of top with it you know I like to mix and match just because I don't know it's fun but I really did like these I got these in a size small which this was true to the size chart that they had. I went based on their size chart and knowing my other sizing for bottoms through Abercrombie and this fit really nicely. It does not dig into the sides. I like that it's high-waisted. I'm really into the high-waisted bathing suits lately. I think they just look really flattering. So this is definitely a keep. And the last three things are items that I am returning. So I am really returning a lot of these items and I'm, I'm sad about it because I was really hopeful. So let's just go ahead and put these out of the way. This is these like tie front paper bag shorts. I felt like I was wearing a diaper, <laughs> a literal diaper. And they're just, they're very baggy. I picked these up in a size small, which was based on the sizing recommendation. I believe a size small is either a two or a four um, that it can fit those those pant sizes and it does fit me that's not the problem it's just so much material and it just feels like a diaper it looks like a diaper you'll see it in the clip I don't like it I have a really hard time finding good shorts so unfortunately these are going back then to wrap these two things up together since they are the same thing these are let me tell you exactly what these are these are the mid-rise curve love shorts. I did pick them up in black and I picked them up in white. Now, I really thought that these would work. I really did. I have such a hard time finding shorts that I can feel comfortable in, that don't squeeze your legs too much, that aren't huge. But the main problem with these shorts is that the front like this region, it feels like there's extra fabric again. But then in the leg region, it feels like it rides up. So I just think the construction of these, there's something off about them. I don't know what it is. So unfortunately, I am going to be returning these. And it's such a bummer because I literally have like two pairs of shorts that I feel comfortable wearing. And I, I really thought these were going to be good. I love the color. I love the black and the white. I thought these would be perfect. I really did. And I will say the black ones did feel a little bit better than the white. And I think that's because every single time I've purchased black bottoms, like black denim from Abercrombie, it runs smaller than their regular denim. So I think that's probably why these don't feel like they have as much extra fabric in the front, but these, these definitely did. I mean, again, they're just not comfortable. I don't feel comfortable in them. So if any of you have tried these shorts, you'll have to let me know if you notice the same thing because yeah, every time, I mean, it's like there's just too much fabric in the front. It looks bunchy in the front. So I don't know, these are going back unfortunately and I'll keep trying my shorts journey and trying to find shorts that work they do make these in a non curve love version I almost was gonna get one of those but it ended up selling out before I finished like deciding what I was gonna buy but I have a feeling I mean maybe those would be better since these are the curve love and maybe the regular ones would be better but I'm not sure these are going back that's all I know I will keep trying and seeing if I can find a winning pair of shorts from them the one thing I will say that I do like about these is that it's not a cuffed bottom it's maybe these would be easier to show you it's just like a free hem I like that because it does not squeeze your leg at all one of the problems I've noticed with the like cuffed bottom of shorts is I feel like my legs are like sausages they get squeezed in so I do like that these are not like that so anyway that pretty much wraps up this haul this was pretty quick I tried to move through all the items in a relatively good pace but unfortunately a lot of these items did not work out for me I'm gonna list everything in the description box and notate what I returned that way you know like which item I you know which items I returned but overall, I really do love Abercrombie and I love their clothes. Pretty much everything I wear is Abercrombie at this point. So I think this was just kind of like a, you know, it was like a fluke. The items I picked didn't work for me. So you'll have to let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was and if you end up picking up anything similar or if you just pick up anything at all or want to share a recommendation, definitely not let me know in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button before you go so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!